the Andromeda galaxy is colliding with us a lot quicker than we may have thought. And if you don't know what I mean by us, well, this is the Milky Way galaxy. The galaxy that you watching this video are currently in right now, orbiting one of the billions of stars within this galaxy. And to start off the video, if you didn't know, the Milky Way and our closest galactic neighbor, Andromeda will collide with each other in billions of years, and at this point it's just a matter of time because we are traveling towards each other at rapid speeds. What if I was to tell you that this collision may have already started? The Milky Way, our home galaxy, is a spiral galaxy spanning approximately 100,000 light years across. Within its vast expanse, it hosts over 200 billion stars, including our own sun. But Andromeda, also known as M31, dwarfs even the Milky Way in size, stretching across a staggering 220,000 light years. It's estimated to contain over a trillion stars, making it one of the most massive galaxies in our local group. But despite these galaxies' immense size, they are hurtling towards each other at a staggering speed of 402,000 kilometers per hour. And if you're wondering how many miles this is every second, it's about 70 miles per second. The collision is inevitable due to the gravitational attraction between them, fueled by their immense masses. At a distance of about 2.5 million light years away from each other, the collision between Andromeda and the Milky Way seems distant, but in cosmic terms, not really. As they draw closer, their gravitational forces begin to intertwine, setting the stage for a mesmerizing cosmic spectacle. Now, as I said earlier, these two galaxies are already starting to merge together, and let me explain what I mean by this. Obviously, the galaxies themselves have not merged or intertwined with each other. By this, I mean the actual spiral arms have not come together yet. This will happen in about 5 billion years from now. But recently, in August of 2020, new research revealed something very interesting about these two galaxies. So first, the Andromeda Galaxy and our Milky Way and all other galaxies sit enshrouded in a large envelope, or almost like a halo that surrounds the galaxy. This is called a galactic halo, and it consists of mainly gas, dust, and stray stars. These halos are extremely faint, so detecting them is not easy, but with modern technology, this can be done. The astronomers measured the size of the halo of Andromeda Galaxy. From this, they found out that Andromeda's halo stretches about 1.3 million light years away from the galaxy. And from this, we can conclude that our galaxy likely has a halo similar in size to this, so by that means, we have basically started colliding already. Stray stars and gas and dust from ours and the Andromeda galaxy have already started to intertwine. As the galaxies approach each other, their halos interact gravitationally, creating ripples and disturbances into the fabric of space-time. And as these galactic halos collide, it results in the exchange of matter and energy between the two galaxies, influencing the formation of new stars and altering the distribution of dark matter. So as you can see, this is a very slow and long-lasting event, which obviously will have no effects on any of us, and who knows if humans will even be here in 5 billion years. But another thing that you could be wondering is what will happen to the stars and planets in each of these galaxies? Will they collide? Will they pass each other by? How will this work? In many ways, when two galaxies collide, it's almost like two ghosts coming together, or basically ghosts passing through each other. Because the stars and planets inside galaxies are separated by such great distances, that they typically don't collide when galaxies merge. And for those living on Earth during this time, the collision of Andromeda and the Milky Way will be a sight to behold. Our once serene view of distant galaxies will be replaced by a chaotic tapestry of stars as the two galaxies merge and form a new, unified galaxy. While the collision will reshape the structure of the local group, it possesses no immediate threat to life on Earth. But when this happens, there's a good chance that earthly life won't be around as the sun begins to get bigger and brighter and turning into a red giant as the star's life ends. So I guess what you can take from this video is that we are currently right now already in a collision with another galaxy. If you enjoyed this short episode, make sure to subscribe as we continue to explore the wonders and mysteries of the universe.